Yes, you're good to go. Hello. Um, hi, welcome everyone. Um, we're here today because um, of Oil Life has hosted, um, sponsored this webinar. Um, so this is looking at um, your using essential oils for your emotions and how that works in with your self-worth and how that can support you. Um, so I'd just um, like to introduce myself. So I'm Trish Nash. Um, so I'm a counselor. Um, I'm an energy healer. So I use essential oils within my um, counseling, essential oils, and um, I tie that in to help support people with their um, emotional journey and just to help um, look how to explore different aspects. And I also use um, crystal bowls and sound therapy, um, Reiki, and um, crystals as well. So it's kind of a combination. Um, I've just found that that works really well to tie in a few different modalities. Um, yes, yeah, just to really um, give, give that support because when we look at our emotional journey, it can um, be very confronting, especially when we're looking at our true authentic self. Um, it's very, can be very challenging. So I find, um, you know, tying these different aspects together um, are really supportive and, and beneficial in our journey. Um, so I'm not really sure what level everyone's at here on the talk, if they've used essential oils for emotional healing before, um, or if this is totally new to them. So I'll just um, cover a little bit um, about um, how essential oils work, and then we'll go in and we'll do a bit of a meditation. Um, so essential oils, basically, um, it taps into your memory centers of the brain, so that stored trauma, um, it's all um, stored in the brain. So we access it through our factory system in our nose. So we inhale the essential oil, just show you. So you just inhale. You inhale that essential oil and that taps into your memories. So I'm not sure, maybe sometime you might've smelled um, lavender and that reminded you of a time in childhood. So that's kind of an example of how um, that fragrance taps into our emotions. Now, before we go any further, I just would like us to kind of um, tap into this space and to just ground ourselves and become more present in this moment. Um, I find that helps with retaining information and um, helps us become, um, you know, feel like we are in a safe space. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a, a meditation now. So if you feel comfortable, um, you can close your eyes or just lower your eyes, um, put your feet flat on the floor and rest your hands on the palm, um, your palms on your legs or rest them in your lap. So whatever's comfortable for you and set up right. Okay, so I'm just gonna close my eyes because I'm so used to closing my eyes when I meditate. Okay, so we're gonna start with just taking a few deep breaths in. So inhale, exhale, just feel yourself sinking into the chair and inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. We're gonna visualize ourselves walking on a path in the forest. The path is covered with dirt and autumn leaves. Since we walk along the path, we can notice the green foliage to our left and to our right. As we continue on this path, we see some birds playing in the thicket. And as we walk along, we around a corner and we see a beautiful waterfall. We walk over to the waterfall along the rocks and come underneath of the waterfall. We gently step in and let the water flow on top of us. As it hits the top of our head and flows down past our arms and our legs into the pool below. 
we feel a renewal and a refreshing. Like our emotions are moving and flowing as the water washes away and cleanses. We feel it trickle down our arms and our legs. As we feel this renewal, we dive into the pool below and splash into the water and totally immerse ourselves. As we come up and exit the pool, and we walk over to a large rock, set down, and ground ourselves as we look up at the sky. And we take a deep breath in. As we come back to the chair that we're sitting in, back to this present moment, as we wiggle our fingers and our toes. So welcome back. That was just a, a very short guided meditation. Um, that's just an, another tool that you can use as well in your um, emotional healing journey is to be able to create a space. I mean, I went to a waterfall, which for me symbolizes um, that flow of emotion. Um, water represents emotions flowing to me. So that meditation um, I find beneficial if I'm trying to release and work through emotions and visualize that flowing and washing over my body. Um, but you can pick any um, other place. It might be the beach, anything that resonates with you. And it can kind of be your safe space, um, even as you're working through um, what you're dealing with emotionally. Um, it can be overwhelming and it gives you that space where you can get out of that monkey mind that sometimes can just, um, yeah, be quite relentless. It gives you that space to, um, yeah, just give, your, give yourself a break. Um, so we talked about how the essential oils work with memory and emotions and how that all ties together. Um, so if anybody has any questions or want any further um, on that, just put it in the chat box and, and um, I can go a bit more in depth with that. Um, so this is my book, um, Emotional Healing with Essential Oils, The Journey of Self-Discovery. So this book walks you through um, your emotional healing journey, looking at, you know, life scripts and boundaries, um, you know, to help you tie in that essential oil and give you those, um, you know, those skills and, and tips to work through. Um, so essential oils. So what I love about essential oils for me in my healing journey is they were just so nurturing. It just made me feel kind of like I was being cradled. Um, you know, supported, that I was safe, that it gave me, I would say courage. So it gave me courage to really look at those aspects of myself that I may have been hiding from um, and not wanting to look at, because we all have, you know, dark, dark and light aspects to ourselves. And a lot of the um, emotional healing that we're working on is the dark, our, our darker self. Um, so I just found with essential oils one, you know, I just apply the essential oils and inhale them as part of my practice, whether I was journaling or meditating, um, you know, or just going through through something specific. Um, it just it just really helped provide that support. So I wanted to, and that's why I wanted to share this information with everybody. So, you know, that they have these tools with them when they're having those tough times and just need that extra bit. I mean, the essential oils are just, you know so beautiful in a, you know, you can put it in a roller bottle and just apply them and get that instant support. It doesn't matter where you're at, you know, people might just think you're putting on perfume. Um, so it's just, it's a beautiful thing to be able to have at your fingertips to use. And it also helps you express yourself. There are certain essential oils, um, you know, lavender and spearmint um, that really work with your, your um, throat chakra and help you find your voice and speak your truth. 
you know, because we're talking about our authentic self. And, you know, if we don't speak our truth, we're not really expressing our authentic self and letting people know what our needs and our desires are, you know, what do we really, you know, what do we really want? And, you know, reflecting on that and using that essential oil, <clears throat> essential oils to help support you in that. So that brings me into life scripts. So when I'm talking about um, supporting your true self and who you truly are, a lot of times we don't really know. So I refer to what I call as life scripts. So these are just kind of programming that we've mostly um, these programs um, have come from our family, from our community, could be from our church, from teachers. A lot of, <clears throat> a lot of these programmings happen um, when you're under five. So it's, it's, not necessarily your beliefs or your values. And a lot of time that we can tell if it's not your belief or your value, if you say, I should do this, you know, that's when you say I should, that's somebody else is telling you that you should do this. It's I want to do this. I love doing this. This nurtures me. Um, so coming from that space. So that's a really good clue on, you know, if you're operating from a life script that is authentic and true to yourself, or if that's someone else's life script, someone else's beliefs or feelings, could be your belief of self-worth, it could be um, a poverty mentality, um, it could be a victim mentality that may have been a life script from someone in your life when you were early on, and you've taken that on as your life script. So these oils will help support you and really really exploring and, and opening up and getting rid of that fear around what, what your beliefs truly are, because it, it can be scary, you know, <clears throat> when you realize and, and accept that, wow, these might not be my beliefs and my, and my true feelings and my values, I'll be using those essential oils to help open up and um, explore that. So um, that's a little bit um, about that. I also wanted to cover um, mindset and your perspective. So we can be very polarized um, as human beings. So it can be, you know, everything is awesome. You know, I'm so happy. You know, everything, nothing ever, ever gets me down. Um, <clears throat> or the polar opposite of that is someone who can be, um, oh, <clears throat> it's not worth living. Um, you know, everything is so terrible. Everything happens to me. Nothing good ever happens to me. So you can see that real polarization of, you know, totally to one side is the negative and the other side is just being super positive. Now we can, we can try to live in that space, but it's, it's not really reality. I mean, as we all know, there's ups and downs in life. You'll, you'll always have um, you know, trauma or drama in your life. Um, life never just runs in a smooth, even keel. Life is ups and downs and all arounds and in-betweens. Um, so really looking at, um, you know, where your perspective is coming from and that can give you a lot of insight on your emotional healing journey. Because what we'd like to um, you know, the goal is to become more in that equilibrium space. So we, we can't really remain in this space all the time because life happens. So we come in and out. What the essential oils will assist you in doing is help it not be so dramatic up and down. That'll help more of a smooth, give you more of a smooth ride, I guess is what I'm trying, trying to say there. Um, so you can put in the chat if you have any um, questions about that of being I know there's some theories of you know just always have a positive mindset and everything is you know happy 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 all the time and you know that's really not realistic um, to be able to be in that space so really looking in and when those when those waves come in in your life being able to um, you know not remain way down in the dumps or remain in an unrealistic expected you know unrealistic high so it's just being more smooth um, with our emotions and more grounded and leveled out. So I found that, you know, 
the essential oils has really helped me a lot in my life with that. Um, so now I would love to share some essential oil blends. Um, so this is my second book. Um, Balancing Sorry, I'm going to say something real quick. Tamara had a uh, question and she yeah. said, are you going to cover how to choose the right oils for this journey? Um, yep. So right now I'm going to cover um, four different essential oil blends and the meaning of each of the essential oils. And um, I'm going to tie in some crystals and the meaning of the crystals as well. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Um, so the blends that I'm going to be covering. Um, so in my first book, I have some individual essential oil blends. And then in my second book, I have it's a DIY recipe book. And I have um, the blends that I'm going to talk about today. So if you have a paper and pen, you can, um, I'll be giving you the formulas for the essential oils. So the first um, essential oil that I'm going to talk about, um, pull this up here and see that. So that's Blossom Blend. So this is my signature essential oil blend. So this will help you through your whole emotional healing journey. Um, so it doesn't matter what you might be going through, body image or boundaries. Um, I've designed this formula to help support you, um, you know, even if you're not sure what you're working through at the moment, um, that this one will support you. So um, this blend opens your heart for acceptance, love, and trust. Um, when in doubt, Blossom Blend will guide you on any part of your healing journey. And then I also have an affirmation that I have with the Blossom Blend as well. Um, so I choose me because I am worth it. So a lot of intention as well goes into when you're applying the essential oil. Um, so you're ready for the recipe? Um, so it has bergamot. So that's self-acceptance. So as you know, with your healing journey, um, just accepting yourself where you're at in this moment, um, you know, that I shouldn't be this or shouldn't be that, or I should be there, you know, just accepting where you're at in this very present moment. So bergamot helps with that. Um, and there's four drops in this blend. And then geranium. So geranium is the oil of the heart. Um, so love and trust. So this helps you open up your heart. And as you can see, this can help for your every part of your healing journey. You know, open your heart to forgiveness, open your heart to self-love, um, you know, just living from that space of, of love. Um, so there's three drops. And then Lang Lang is your inner self and your true child, your inner child and your true self. Um, so again, this ties in with, you know, really um, looking at who am I, you know, what is my true self and living authentic and authentically um, in your true self. Um, so the Lang Lang has two drops and then vetiver. Um, so vetiver is really for grounding and balancing. So I was talking earlier, tying in how we have those waves of emotions. Um, this helps ground you and stabilize you. So I always think of anything, um, you know, vetiver has really, um, you know, strong roots. So that grounds you. So it doesn't matter whatever happens in your life, those ups and downs and the wind sways you, that you stay really grounded. And vetiver is an amazing oil to help with that. And that has one drop. So again, I'll go over that. Um, bergamot, four drops. Um, geranium, three drops. Lang Lang, two drops. And vetiver, one drop. Um, so how you would apply that. So, um, you know, there's multiple ways to apply essential oil. So I'm just giving a suggestion and, and recommendations. Um, so, but one I like, um, as you can just roll it on the palm of your hand. So I use roller bottles. Um, you know, they're really convenient to have in your hand or your, your handbag. What size of roller ball is that? Um, this one is a five mil. So that's awesome. just one type. And then this is another type as well. So it's five mils, but it's just um, a bit thicker and stockier. So I know um, Oil Life has some with um, uh, crystals in them. So you can tie in the crystals and put that in the, the essential oil bottle too to help um, you know, raise that vibration and that frequency of the essential oils. 
Um, so I just put it in my hand and I just gently rub it and on the C. So I just inhale three times and then I can put it on the spot. So for this one, I recommend you can put it on your, your heart space. Um, you can put it on your lower abdomen. A lot depends on what you're working, working through. If you know that um, you have a lot of pain and heaviness on your heart, um, you can apply it to your heart chakra. Um, or if it's a lot of safety and security, you can place your hands on your root chakra. So just depending on what area you're working on, since this oil um, helps you with all aspects of your healing journey, you can put it on any part of your chakra. Um, you can even just put it on your wrists, behind your ears. Um, you can really apply it um, anywhere. And if you don't choose to use the roller bottles and it's just a dropper bottle, um, you could even put that um, with some carrier oil and do some aromatic dressing in the morning as well with any of these blends. So if you're not just restricted to um, the roller bottle, you can put it um, in a dripper bottle and you can put it in a diffuser. Um, you can, like I said, aromatic dressing. So there's different ways to apply um, the essential oil. When I use them in the, the roller bottle format, I add fractionated coconut oil in. Um, you can add you know, almond oil, whatever your preferred uh, essential oil, um, carrier oil is. And that helps keep it in the layers of your skin. So it works more as a perfume, so it doesn't flash off. If you just have 100% essential oil in here and apply it to the skin, it's not gonna last as long as it's gonna um, you know, flash off. Um, but adding the carrier oil really helps keep it in um, the layers of your skin and then you can keep enjoying that fragrance and and keep having that support with you um so One also question. I, sorry not to get, that's fine. Uh, so tamara asked so the recipe you just gave is for a five mil bottle so for a 10 mil would you just double the recipe yes awesome yeah, definitely and i mean um the blend the base blend that i've given you now that's um that's being quite conservative um, with your essential oil blending. Um, some people might like it a little bit stronger. Um, if you like the blend stronger, then you can um, you know, double that for the five mil and uh, four times more for the 10 mil. So it just depends on how strong that you want it. Um, but that's more on the more safety standard side of you know, very, being very cautious with that, with that blend. Um, but that is that base, base blend. So if you like a stronger scent, then um, I would double it for the five mil. But you can always add those essential oils. And, and even when you're making your essential oil, um, the intent is really important. So anytime um, that I'm blending oil, I really ground myself. I do a little bit of a meditation, um, get all the supplies around. And as I'm blending that oil, I'm not thinking about what I'm cooking for dinner. I'm just coming from a heart space. And then thinking, you know, what do I want? What's my intention for this oil? You know, what would I like this oil to, to help me with? And then I'm just thinking of that intention as I'm blending the oil and even thanking each oil for what it's doing um, as you're putting that in the bottle as well. Um, I think that that really helps because I think there's been a study where, you know, two people can blend the exact same essential oils in the exact same order and it smells different. Um, so I think intention plays a really important part, even when you're working with the oils and applying them, you know, what's your intention, not just randomly, doo, 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 yeah, whatever, um, you know what I mean? You're thinking, oh, I'm so grateful for the support. You know, I really need to open my heart today, or I really need some courage today. Um, you know, having that really connecting with that essential oil, um, more on a personal level. Did that answer your question? I think that did. I think her mic is off an audio, but that was great. Yes. She just said, yes. Thank you. Okay. Yep. And, um, so also another surprise, this wasn't in, uh, um, the web webinar description, um, but crystals. So I use crystals a lot in my healing as well, along with the essential oils. So the crystal that I've chosen, um, for the blossom blend, I'll just show you, you can see that. So it's just got an egg. So this is amethyst. 
So this dream amethyst, a regular amethyst. I believe this one is from India. Oh, this one's from Madagascar. So, um, so amethyst. So amethyst increases spirituality and psychic powers. It protects you against psychic attacks relieves stress and strain, smooths irritability, balances your mood swings, um, dispels anger, rage, and fear, along with anxiety, alleviates sadness and grief. And it's associated um, with your third eye chakra and sometimes your crown chakra as well. Um, so as you see, it really supports you. We can have a lot of build up anger and resentment with trauma. Um, so I find this when I'm, I'm pairing up the essential oil blends and the crystals that that one's a, a really good match. Um, so yeah, that's beautiful. So that's Blossom. Did, it, did anybody have any questions on the Blossom blend? Okay, um, so we'll move to Freedom Blend. Okay, so Freedom Blend, um, I call this, the, um, it's the fear blend. So a lot of times we can operate in a space of fear. So our decisions, everything we do is based out of fear. And especially in uh, you know, this time of everything's happening um, in the world, we're kind of running on fear. Um, so this is this blend. And this is again in a five mil bottle. Um, so the, um, the freedom blend. So fear is only as powerful as you make it. Free yourself from all the negative outcomes you can imagine and, and the fear of making mistakes. So really fear is only as powerful as you make it. It's just a word. Um, so this blend really supports you, um, you know, to just, to just calm that fear and calm that anxiety, um, which it comes from the root chakra, your base, your base chakra. So again, oh, Sorry, it's so beautiful. I had to smell it. <laughs> um, so in the affirmation for this one is live in the present moment. Because a lot of fear is the future. What's the future going to hold? Or fear that I'm going to repeat something from the past. Um, so that affirmation is I live in the present moment. Okay, so the recipe for this one. So it's lemon. So lemon gives you clarity and focus. So again, it brings you out of that, um, can be an unrealistic fear, fear of, you know, all these things could possibly happen. The likelihood that they can happen is, is pretty slim. So it just gives you that clarity and that vision um, to be able to really set more with, you know, what is reality and what could possibly, you know, happen and not be caught up, um, you know, and spending all that energy and that time and things that, you know, we'll probably never eventuate. Um, so the formula for that is three drops. The next is juniper berry. So juniper berry is um, darkness of the night. So this helps you shine that light on that fear. You know, what is, where is that fear really coming from? Because fear is quite um, a basic emotion. Um, but if we drill that down into, well, what actually am I afraid of? Am I afraid of abandonment? Um, so it really helps give you um, that strength and courage to look deeper than just fear. What, what is that fear deriving from? And it's usually down a few layers and it's tied in with, you know, past trauma or something that's happened in your life. So this oil will really support you in, in looking at that darkness and looking in those spots that you know, you might not want to shine light on. So it just helps shine that, that love and that light. Um, so that's three drops. Okay. And the next oil that's in this is cypress. So cypress is about motion and flow and circulation. Um, so it's movement. So fear, fear can stagnate us. So we can just be, you know, you heard I'm just, I'm paralyzed in fear. I can't move. I can't make a decision. Um, we well, are actually making a decision by not, by not making a decision, you'll still have ramifications and outcome. So Cypress helps you to move forward, to move past that fear, to just flow, let the emotions flow, you know, let your physical body flow and keep moving forward. Um, so that is, I love Cypress. It's a gorgeous blend or it's a gorgeous essential oil. Um, so there's three drops 
of cypress. And the next essential oil in the blend is sandalwood. Um, so this is spirituality and there's one drop of sandalwood. So this just helps you connect um, with your spiritual side on um, whatever your beliefs or your feelings are. It's more your spirit and connecting um, with what you truly feel and what you truly believe on a spiritual level to help you um, have that anchor to hold on to when you're in that fear space and help you really connect to, um, you know, your inner child. Um, yep, I think I saw a, a post. Um, so uh, this is Hawaiian sandalwood, but you could use either sandalwood if you like. So to answer your question, yeah, because it's whatever one you have on hand. So like I said, these are, um, you know, these blends, you know, if there's a specific essential oil that you want to add to this blend that you're really called to and resonate with, you know, you can keep this base blend and then add that additional essential oil. Um, so these are just recommendations and, and blends that I've come up with, but I really encourage you to, um, you know, your intuition, let, let it guide you of what you need. You know, you might end up blending, you know, some from the freedom blend um, and, you know, a few from the blossom blend. So it's, you know, you know, intuitively, um, what your body needs. And I guess while we're on that, I'll, I'll cover this topic as well. So there's a, a little bit of food controversy of um, if you smell an essential oil and your body rejects it, like you're like, oh my gosh, this oil is terrible, that you're meant to use that um, because that's what your body needs to work on. Um, I like to come from the space of if you smell an essential oil and your body's rejecting it, um, listen to what your body is saying and respect, respect that your body is saying right now, I can't, I can't use this essential oil. You know, maybe it is something like, oh, wow, I really need to work on this. And this essential oil is perfect for it, but maybe you're just not ready right now in that space and time. And, you know, I would rather come from the perspective of listening to yourself and really respecting what your body wants. And if you're, if you inhale it, and your body loves that essential oil, then that's an essential oil that is good for you in this moment right now. If you inhale the oil and your body is repulsed by it, just put that oil away and it's, it's not right for you. But again, listen to your intuition. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, it's whatever works, works for you. Okay, so again, I'll go over that blend so you can write it down. So lemon is three drops. Juniper berry is three drops. Cypress is three drops. And sandalwood is one drop. So for this one to apply, um, you can apply it to your upper abdomen and your lower abdomen. So that's above and below. You can't see in, in, the, in the camera right now. Um, but if you just put your finger on your belly button, so your lower abdomen is below that and your upper abdomen is above that. So that's your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra. So again, you can just roll it on your hand and then apply it to that space on your body um, or you can inhale it and put it behind your ears. And again, like we mentioned before, the aromatic dressing, um, you can put that in a carrier oil and put that on your body. Um, you can diffuse it. Um, I just, I like the, um, putting it directly on my body. It gives me the most benefits. Okay, so there. May I ask another question? Yep, you sure can. Okay. I'm so glad you mentioned this blend because um, I've been dealing with a lot of um, fear with things in my life recently. Um, you had said, you mentioned that fear comes from the base chakra. So that's, where is that located? Is that the lower back? Yes, yeah, so it, it's both sides. So basically it's your tailbone. So you can access it from um, the back or the front side. So that's so we, our I can apply of, both. I can apply it to both areas. Yes, you can. So inhaling okay. it and then applying it with that intention because our, our base chakra, our root chakra, it's that sense of safety, security, you know, being part of that the, the pack not being isolated or ostracized. Um, 
you know, which is quite a big issue in this, the world climate that we have. Um, so using that oil to support you. And then if you use crystals as well, I've selected um, tiger's eye um, as well to help support with this. So you can place um, to working with crystals, um, also intent, I'm really big on intent. So this one is just a sample of a heart. So you can even use a tumble stone. Um, I've just used the bigger pieces so you guys could see and just place this on your root chakra. Um, so probably be easier to place it on front. So just kind of on the, um, the pubic area, the pubic bone area. Um, you can just place this on so you can massage the essential oil and then put the crystal as well to help support you with that because crystals have different frequencies and vibrations. Um, so the tiger's eye, so I'll read a bit about the meaning of the tiger's eye. Um, it allows you to deeply open the stone of wealth. It encourages mental clarity, dispels fear, anxiety, and it provides protection. And it's for the um, base chakra or the, and the solar plex chakra. So that's your lower chakras. So yeah, the crystals I found, um, it just amplifies. So when I do um, treatments, I tie in the crystals, the essential oils, um, and I even tie in the sound therapy as well. So yes, I love a little heart shaped. <laughs> so did anyone have any um, questions about the um, freedom blend, freedom from fear? Okay, so we'll move on to the next blend. So this one's a biggie. This one really, um, you know, has really supported my heart and forgiveness. And with forgiveness, um, it can be a very big challenge. We can hold on to things and um, keep punishing ourselves over the past. Um, so this blend helps you forgive and move forward. And, you know, forgiveness for me, I found forgiving myself a lot harder than forgiving others. You know, we keep wanting to beat ourselves up for the mistakes that we've made and being able to come from that gracious space of, of love um, to be able to, you know, move forward. If, we, if we're carrying unforgiveness on our heart, it's hard for us to move forward and really let go and, um, yeah, just, just move forward. And we carry that unforgiveness um, in our physical body. So I, I believe that all of our emotional um, trauma or feelings, we carry that in a physical part of our body, you know, and for me, um, that this one, I carry this on, on my heart, on my heart chakra, um, unforgiveness. So that's why I created this blend. Um, so the affirmation that I have for this blend is I forgive myself and others. So you can say that as you're applying that essential oil. You can say that as you're, um, you know, blending the essential oil. Um, you can say that as, um, you know, when you have that crystal resting on that part of your body. So, I mean, as you're resting that crystal. So, for example, the one for um, freedom, freedom of fear, you know, having that intention, applying the essential oil um, on your root chakra, placing the crystal there. And then just placing your hands over the crystal and just, you know, meditating on the meaning, you know, why you're, why you are putting that oil there and then just sit there for five minutes and then just meditate in that space on that word. Um, so that'll help bring you healing and help stir up emotions as well. Um, and then the oil will also help you as you process those emotions. So, um, just know when you use essential oils, it will stir things up. Um, you know, we have to feel it before we can process it. And that's why we, you know, in life, we use a lot of things to distract ourselves from feeling the pain. You know, we drink, we might overexercise, workaholic. We use all these things to not face the pain and the fear that we have. Um, but I found in my journey that if you, you know, it took more effort and fear and it was so draining to actually keep trying to fight and hide from it that when I finally just released and gave in to feel it 
that I was on the other side and just went, why the heck didn't I do this sooner? You know, so that's why I wanted to share this, that, you know what I mean? We're so scared. We're at the precipice of an emotional breakthrough and we're just, it's just so hard. But once you just go over that other side and feel that, just feel that pain and process it. And then it's like, wow, what a relief. What, a, you know, you just let go of so much um, pain and trauma because it takes a lot of energy for us to keep burying things down and burying things down. It takes massive amounts of energy and it takes its toll on our physical body. Um, so just be encouraged with essential oils that, you know, they're really there to support you, to really anchor into them and, um, you know, let them do their beautiful magic, I guess is what would be um, what I'd love to say on that. Um, so with um, the forgiveness blend, um, so you can apply that to your chest or your heart area. And now for me, like I said before, the forgiveness, it really weighed on my heart. I had that pain on my heart. Um, so, but if you feel, so listen to your intuition. So if you feel um, that unforgiveness in a different part of your body, then, you know, apply that essential oil to that part of the body. So again, how we did earlier, you can either roll it on your hand or, you know, your roller bottle, you can roll it directly on your heart. I just can't, <laughs> don't have all my body showing. Um, or you can even inhale it. You know, I showed before just a nice little warm rub. Just let that, that oil wash over your body. Just really connect with that fragrance and then rub that on your heart. So with this one, it's Lepridite. So the crystal. So it's L-E-P-I-D-O-L-I-T-E. -E. And this is just a pyramid shape. Like I said, um, you can use whatever shape you would like. So that's what that one looks like. So again, you can apply, <clears throat> apply that essential oil to your heart when you're laying down. You could just lay the crystal. I would remove my necklace. You can lay the crystal on your heart and then you can place your hands over your heart and then just acknowledge. Um, you can say, I forgive myself and others. Or if you have somebody specifically on your heart, you can forgive them as well. So you can make that your own personal. Can um, you repeat the blend components for that blend? Yep. Thank for you. the for forgiveness blend? Yes. yes. Yep. So forgiveness is lemon is four drops. Oh, I don't think I went over the blend, did I? <laughs> the forgiveness. Um, so forgiveness is lemon. And that's four drops. Arbor vitae is two drops. Geranium is three drops. And vetiver is one drop. So I don't think I covered those oils, have I? So again, it uses lemon. So lemon is clarity and focus. So with forgiveness, it helps shine light and give you that clarity on self-forgiveness or forgiving another person because we can be in a space of you know anger or hatred and not even think that forgiveness is possible um so this oil helps you have that clarity that you can um open up and forgive so when we talk about forgiveness i just want to point out here and I'll, I'll cover the rest of the oils for this blend um forgiveness doesn't mean that you forget what happened um, forgiveness means that you just forgive them for that act and that you let it go or you forgive yourself for whatever decision you made and you let it go. It doesn't mean that you let that person keep abusing you or that you have weak boundaries. You know, you can stand up for yourself and have boundaries to say, well, actually, I won't be treated like this again. And this is my boundary. And for whatever person that you're dealing with, they can either accept your new boundaries or they can, um, decline your new boundaries and not be a part of your life. Um, so forgiveness, I think a lot of people think that it's just, oh, forgive and let that person in your life and keep abusing you. Um, they can be in your life if they respect your boundaries um, and respect you. So um, yeah, just forgiveness can be a bit confusing. 
in that sense. So the second oil, um, Arborvitae, so that was two drops. So that's divinity. So that's just really connecting with your divine self and knowing that you are, are worthy of forgiveness and you know, that, that divine blessing of forgiveness. Um, it's Arborvitae is one of my favorite, favorite oils. I just, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, it really helps with trauma and processing. Um, yeah, if you don't have Arborvitae, I recommend <laughs> getting a bottle um, or trying it. Um, and then again, forgiveness has geranium in it. So trust and love. So again, for the heart chakra, you know, that really weighing on you to open up to just, you know, that love and that compassion um, and that forgiveness, just really expanding your heart. Um, and it can be very, very hard and challenging. I've, um, you know, dealt with some sexual abuse in my life and, you know, it, it was challenging to actually forgive and let go, you know, but it's so beneficial when we can just release that you know, because we can keep re-traumatizing ourselves over and over again. And, you know, this, for, and by forgiveness, it just, it, it's part of that process and you can move forward and put that behind you and not have it keep being a crutch on your life. Um, so the ger geranium and then vetiver. So that grounding and balancing. So coming from that space, um, you know, to me, because it can be trying to forgive someone and remembering those past issues, you know, that vetiver oil really supports you and grounds you and brings you into that, that space of, you know, calm and balance. It's um, a beautiful oil. So if you feel like you're up in the air and you just can't come down, um, vetiver really helps ground and balance you if you, you know, just want to use a specific oil, a one-off oil. And also just in the back of, um, so in the back of um, this book, Emotional Healing with Essential Oils, A Journey of Self-Discovery, um, it has all the meanings of the essential oils as well. So you have your guide to walk you through your emotional healing journey. So it goes over boundaries, um, life scripts, I can find, you know, new beginnings. And then it gives you that reference or reference section in the back. That covers the different essential oils to help you select. So if you don't want to use a blend, um, do you know what I mean? You want to use individual oils. Um, in that book, I recommend the individual oils that can use for whatever you're working through at the time. Um, you know, and you could pick a few and, uh, you know, be creative and make your own blends. Um, and also, if you, when you make your blends, don't forget to label them. Um, you don't want to have several different bottles rolling around and you're like, what was that essential oil for? Um, so yeah, just always make sure um, I've had these labels printed up, um, but you don't have to print them up. You can just get um, little blank white labels and write um, your formula on there, write what the oil, whatever you want to name your oil. Does anybody have any questions on the forgiveness blend? Okay, um, so the leprodite, so this stone that I showed earlier, um, so this is a stone of transition. So transitioning um, out of that space of unforgiveness. So um, assists in releasing and reorganizing old behaviors psychological and psychological patterns. It's a deep emotional healing. Um, soothes and reduce stress and depression. It helps get rid of negativity and assists in being, assists on being used for the highest good. So your greater good. So that's associated with the crown chakra. So again, you could apply some to the crown chakra or the heart chakra um, or wherever you may feel that unforgiveness. As you know, um, you know, emotions that haven't been worked through, you know, we have that physical feeling. We can feel it in the pit of our stomach or we feel it on our heart or we feel it in our upper abdomen. You know, it physically manifests in our body. Um, so whichever oil, it doesn't matter what I recommend putting it you know, tap in and listen to you and apply that essential oil where it resonates um, the most with you, because this is your journey. Um, you know, and I'm here to assist you in it. And the essential oils and crystals are here to assist you. 
but you know, to get the most out of it, it's tapping into your intuition and you know, what you need in that moment. Cause it can change from day to day. You know, you may think, oh, I'm using this forgiveness blend and then your body, you know, is moving forward and wants to, wants to work on something else. And you could incorporate a different essential oil as well. And that's where that reference section in the back of um, my first book comes in and really handy because you can just, what am I feeling? And you can look up that a specific essential oil or even look at what oils you have and look up and see um, what they're good for um, as part of your emotional healing journey. Okay. And I think I've covered everything on forgiveness. Sorry for skipping around a little bit. Um, so the last blend that we have um, is emotional balance blend. So you can feel uneasy um, or off balance. This blend will help calm and support you. So for any part of your, your healing journey. So like I said, in my book, I talk about, you know, body image, life script, self-sabotage, relationships. Um, so as you see, these oils can apply um, to different aspects of what you're working on. And then there are um, individual oils that are listed as well um, if you're working on something very specific. Okay, so this one, the affirmation. So emotional balance. Uh, this is another beautiful blend. It's a very simple blend, but powerful. Um, so the affirmation for this one is... Um, my thoughts are calm and supportive. So my thoughts are calm and supportive. So this is that intention and that affirmation, um, you know, as you're working with that oil and working with that crystal. Um, so the recipe for this one, um, again, lemon. So this is clarity and focus. So again, when we're in an emotion, uh, when our emotions are running wild, we're kind of going, we're operating from the reptilian brain. So we can't really think very clear and logical. And we can be very, have brain fog, even doing the simplest tasks. I know when, you know, I was working through a lot of, um, a lot of trauma. It's like, did I even brush my teeth this morning? You know, our mind can really, um, you know, be hijacked. So lemon essential oil is really powerful for giving you that clarity, that focus, bringing you back in, um, you know, to your physical body to be able to really look and explore what's going on. Because we have to, you know, in order to work through our emotions, we need to own it. We need to own it and process those feelings. Um, and this lemon oil really helps to give you that clarity and focus to be able to do that, to to move forward and, and recognize too, because, you know, we can, you know, we can look at someone else and say, oh, I can see what they're going through, but we can't see it for ourselves. Um, that's one thing as humans, we can't, we can't see our own stuff. Um, you know what I mean? So these oils will help you and really support you. And like I said, giving you that clarity or, you know, the geranium opening your heart or the Lang Lang really help you connecting with your inner child, your true self. Um, so these oils are just, you know, a beautiful component to add to your essential healing, um, to your journey, to your healing journey. Okay, so the recipe for that. So there's three drops of lemon. The next oil is lavender. So lavender is oil communication. So it's really speaking your truth. It's speaking um, you know, we can have a lot of anger from not speaking what we feel. We just harbor and hold all of that inside us. And to have that emotional balance, if we're raging on the inside, you know, this helps us to express how we're feeling, express those emotions. So we're not, um, you know, at that point of blowing up or exploding because we've just repressed and pushed those emotions down. Um, because really you can only push them down for so long and it'll manifest in some kind of, you know, illness or it'll manifest in just total physical exhaustion. You know, it's, you know, for me, I would love to say, woohoo, I just, you know, wanted to do it, but I had to hit rock bottom in order to then really to stop and be, you know, look at what, what trauma that I hadn't processed and how that was affecting my life. Um, so this really helps, you know, helps you on that journey to be able to communicate and to speak up for yourself and to speak your truth 
And when you speak your truth, it, it doesn't matter if the person you're speaking it to acknowledges it, listens to it, you know, you've spoken how you feel and that's all that you can do. And that is so powerful. And, you know, whatever happens in your life, you know, people will come and go, but they're not valuing your truth and listening to what you have to say. You know what I mean? It's, um, it can be really hard to move forward in your, in your journey. So the third essential oil is Lang Lang. So that is your true self and your inner child. Again, really connecting. And that comes from, you know, the throat chakra, um, you know, the lavender and the communication, really speaking up for yourself, you know, that Lang Lang, um, it really helps you to, you know, know who you are, because we can, we can be all these things for everyone else. For every, we can be, oh, I'm, I'm a doctor because my dad wanted to me. I'm a mom because my mom wanted to be, a, you know, me to be a mom. But what is your true self? What do you want out of life? What are your passions? What are your desires? What impact do you want to make on the world? And processing your emotions and dealing with, um, you know, that trauma then can help you become very clear and give you that space and that mindset to be able to move forward um, from your values and your beliefs. So emotional balance is, you know, excellent for this and, um, you know, really good, you know, anxiety. If you're feeling really uneasy, um, you know, uh, emotional balance blend is really good, um, really good in that, in those situations as well. Um, so to apply, so again, um, I have the roller bottle. Um, you can put it in a diffuser, um, aromatic dressing. You can apply it on your hand. Oh, smells so lovely. And just let that oil, the fragrance, just wash over your body. Um, now this one, um, if it works for you, um, I'd recommend putting it on your lower abdomen. Um, so that really helps um, have that balance in the lower chakras. Um, you know, the sacral chakra is more about your relationships with others and your solar plexus is your relationship with yourself. Um, so it really just helps, um, you know, ground you and balance you in those lower chakras, um, the emotional balance blend. Now the um, crystal that I have with this one is sodalite. Um, so sodalite, so, so this is a little, a tower. Let me see that. Try to keep my hands out of the way. So that's sodalite. And these aren't the only crystals that you can use. Like I said, these are the ones that I was drawn to use with these essential oils. But if there's, um, you know, multiple crystals can do multiple things. So, you know, if there's a different crystal that you resonate with, other than the one that I'm matching up with this essential oil, again, connect with your intuition, listen to your intuition, and let that guide you. I'm just here to facilitate um, and to give suggestions and recommendations for what my intuition has told me and what has worked for me as well. Um, so, so delight. Um, and that's S-O-D-A-L-I-T-E. It's emotional balance, calms panic attacks. It enhances self-esteem, self-acceptance, and self-trust. Balances the immune system and um, boosts the metabolism. So that's associated as well with your throat chakra. Um, so like I said, it just depends on where you're resonated um, to apply that essential oil. So that's the four blends um, that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you that, you know, to, you know, to use the essential oils, you know, they're, they're no good if you don't open the bottle, you can make up your blends, but if you, um, you don't use them and actively work with them, um, you know, you won't get the results. And if you just put it on one time, it can calm you in that, in that moment and give you support in that moment. Um, you know, to its continual usage as you're working through, um, because the layers will start to peel back. Um, and one thing I found very beneficial as well is journaling. 
um, especially if you're really blocked and you don't know what, like, what is this emotion? What am I feeling? I don't know what I'm feeling. What's, what's the base of my fear? You know, what's going on? I just, I can't see it. You can apply that essential oil, inhale that essential oil, um, and then just start journaling. So you can just start free journaling um, and you'll be surprised what comes up. You might just start writing, you know, this is my grocery list or I did this today. But as you stick with it and those essential oils start to marinate and churn in your body and start releasing those emotions that you'll find as you're free writing, if you stick to it, then it'll start coming out those feelings and thoughts anger, whatever's inside of you um, will start coming out on that piece of paper. And, and just know that's a safe space. You can, you know, burn that piece of paper when you're done with it, burn your journal. Um, you know what I mean? That is your space to say whatever you want, write down however you feel. It's, it's such a cathartic tool um, to be able to use as part of this healing journey. Um, now, does anyone have any questions on the, the oils that we covered or me to, re me to repeat? There was one more question. Yeah, if you could repeat the oils and the amounts for the last blend. Yep, the emotional balance blend. I believe so. Let's see if we get a... Yep. Um, so lemon is three drops. Lavender is three drops. And Lang Lang is three drops. So it's a very simple recipe, but it is very powerful. <laughs> Especially, like I said, for that, um, that calming and balancing and that anxiety, it really helps just, just ground you and bring you down. Um, so you can process and work on things because when we're, our mind are all scattered and we're just, you know, the I call it the monkey mind, it's just like, your mind just will not shut up. <laughs> I think people can relate to what I'm talking about. The repetitive monkey mind that repeats the same unproductive, you know, patterns over and over again. This oil really helps calm that down and um, helps you go inward and really, um, you know, supports you in that. So are there any other questions? So we can open it up to so questions, if anybody um, wants to ask anything. If you can ask something about a specific oil, um, I know I've covered different blends, um, but you can ask about a specific situation, um, you know, briefly about a, um, an oil that might um, be beneficial for you. Let's see, one popped up here. She asked, what was the name of your second book? Um, so the second book is Balancing Emotions DIY Recipe Book. So the four blends that I discussed today, so um, those are included in there. And also within it, it um, has the recipes. So just get a look. So for example, here are some of the um, rollerball blends. And then it also has um, self-care products. So it's um, making maybe I love me bath salts. Um, it has a section on um, oral care, um, face, body lotions. So moisturizers, but they're all tied in with your emotions. Um, so for example, um, the mouthwash, um, it's called, there's two different blends, New Horizon and Burst. So the essential oils that I use um, in the mouthwash, for example, um, they support your oral hygiene, but the, also the emotional of it as well. So spearmint, it opens and releases blockages, you know, bergamot, self-acceptance, you know, peppermint lifts and lightens the heart. Um, and then the affirmation I have tied with that. Um, I have a voice and I deserve to be heard. So it's just amazing that, you know, the, the care products for the mouth are good for your oral hygiene, yet it, is, it encourages you to speak up for yourself, live in your true authentic self. Um, so it's just, 
yeah, it's just amazing. Even the I Love Me, you know, it has bergamot for self-acceptance, grapefruit, ginger, patchouli. Um, so they're all, um, you know, just personal health, personal care products, but based on emotions and emotional healing. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful book. Um, so that's my second book. And the first one, it walks you through your emotional healing journey. Um, it mirrors my own and um, different essential oils to use during that journey. And then has that reference in the back of the meaning of each of the individual oils and a safety um, sheet at the back as well, um, just for precautions. Yeah, does anybody else have any other questions? I see another question. Um, they said, do you believe that the oils and crystals choose you? When I choose my oils, I have to smell them. When I choose my crystals, I have to close my eyes and touch them. They seem to call to me in ways I can't really explain. 100%. Um, they definitely call you. And that's your intuition working. That's a perfect example. Um, you know, with crystals, you know, some people they'll feel they'll hold the crystal or run their hands over um, several crystals and it's that crystal calling them or they'll feel heat coming from the crystal, you know, like I'll pick up a crystal and, you know, I think I just, this is coming home with me. I have to have it. Um, so yeah, definitely the um, crystals call you. And yeah, it is kind of hard to explain like, how is a, how's a crystal calling me? But it's that frequency, you know, it's resonating at a certain frequency and you are resonating at a certain frequency and that's matching up um, in that moment for your greater good. Um, and the same with the essential oils. So it's, I don't, it's so hard for me to say, what's your, you know, you get the question, what's your favorite essential oil? It depends on the day, you know, like I just, my intuition tells me which essential oil, um, you know, I have a big box behind me and just which oil do I need to pick for the day? And the same with my treatments when I'm, I'm doing a essential oil treatment for someone, um, you know, just as I'm doing the treatment, whichever oils or oil blends, um, they just come up for what that person needs at that moment. So yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Were there any other questions? Okay, well, if there's no other, if there's no questions, um, no questions for um, today, I'd like to thank you guys for participating um, and coming along and really respecting the essential oils and the crystals. And, you know, I'd like to give you courage and strength to move forward in your own healing journey and just know that you're never alone. Um, you can tap into your intuition, your higher self. Um, and you have the support of the crystals and the essential oils, um, you know, so I just bid you farewell and, um, you know, enjoy your journey. It's, it can be scary, but um, there's beautiful parts when you break through and, and process things um, and come out the other side, you'll, um, you'll definitely be thankful for it. So um, thank you everyone. And yes, it's been thank a pleasure. you so much. It's been great. Yes, I've really enjoyed sharing the oils and, you know, what helped me, you know, I went through my own, well, it's an ongoing uh, emotional healing journey, but um, yeah. you know, going through and processing, I, I wish that I had, you know, that someone told me which oils or talked to me about intuition, you know, I was in a very different space than I am now, you know, that I would have had these recommendations and these suggestions, um, you know, and these tips and tools to help me on my journey. So I really wanted to, um, you know, that's what encouraged me, you know, to, to have my voice and to, to write these books, to be able to share that information, you know, so someone else's journey can be made just a little bit easier and, and feel like they're not alone and, and, you know, that they're supported. And it really, you know, is really way strong on my heart to be able to, um, you know, have a space like this to be able to share um, you know, the essential oils to help every, you know, help everyone who's open to it. So thank you. Yes, it is so helpful. Thank you. Yep. So if there's no more questions, we'll probably, um, end the session today.
don't see any more questions. Again, thank you so much. This has been great. You're welcome. Have a lovely day, guys. You too. From Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.